you're going to hear from the same old tired playbook a bunch of lies. Oh, here we go. Everything you hear is lies. What you're going to hear tonight. Don't believe your lying is a eyes. Detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025. Oh! Drink? If you've, if you've got drinking games, Project 2025 should be one of the tasks. But also, Project 2025 is such a super lefty, super Twitter, super MSNBC thing, right? Which, of course, was a think tank of people who used to work in the Trump administration with their ideas of what... But then he said, I'm not in it. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do As you know, and as she knows better than anyone, I have nothing to do with Project 2025. Uh, that's out there. I haven't read it. I don't want to read it purposely. I'm not going to read it. This was a group of people that got together. Oh, oh I'm sick of this already. Oh, she's doing. She's doing the sort of motherly mamala. Mm, no, no. Substantially, and create a great economy like I did before. We had the greatest economy. We got hit with a pandemic, and the pandemic was not since 1917. Where Say China. Say China. Died. China. He doesn't do China anymore, does he? I really miss the way he says China. Mm. Sometimes I just think about that. I think about... I just miss the way he says China. <laughs> Is that strange? No, it's just lovely that the way that you thought about it. I am offering what I describe as an opportunity economy and the best economist in our country... Equity is what she's offering, which is communism, Kamala. We know what equity means. That's it. Everyone, unlike equality, ends up in the same place. That's it. It means equality of outcome, not equality of opportunity. Mine would strengthen And it always ends in tears. What the Wharton School has said is Donald Trump's I don't... Plan. So she keeps quoting these economists and academics as if there's any faith or trust in that expert class that is highly politicised, highly ideological, that have said anything. Remember the last debate, well, not the last one, the 2021 when we had the uh, national security experts telling us that Hunter's laptop was a Russian plot? People aren't buying this anymore, folks. I can't hear him. Oh, they had his microphone they turned his off. Down. Oh, no. Outrage. It's a brilliant plan. It's a great plan. It's a plan that's It's the best plan. It's the best plan. It's amazing. It's magnificent. We love this man. How red is his tie? No. I'd like you to wear, start wearing ties like that, please. Okay, for you, anything. The vice president brought up uh, your tariffs. You responded, and let's drill down on this because your plan is what she calls is essentially a national sales tax. Your proposal. Democrat calls Dave is no. uh, doing his best to, to try to be unbiased. So far, so good. We'll give him a pass because I know it's killing him. Yeah. He wants to go up there and join Kamala and <laughs> just bash Trump. We are going to take in billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars. I had no inflation, virtually no inflation. One of the problems she has with this strategy, which is always looking with disdain, disapproval, almost emotive response to everything he says, she needs to keep that up for every time he's talking because she doesn't know what 30-second, 15-second grab they're going to use on the nightly news. And for the person who actually watches this entire debate or even watches 30 minutes, 40 minutes of it, that gets grating real quick. That gets disrespectful and stupid, especially when someone's saying something fairly uh, straightforward and you're... Just, like you're but thinking, what's wrong with you? Well, it's, it's Why a, are you doing this? But that super passive aggressive way oh, of passive not actually arguing with you, but just dismissing you. And again, I, I know that the team blue, team left wants her to, to put him away. 30% of people want to learn more about her. What they learn through that That's it. is this some is of the, the character, some of the what she must be like behind the scenes. Focusing on what we need to do to support America's workforce so that we don't end up having the, the, on the short end of the stick. Watch this. Watch this. This, this is the bias bit. Do they let him so follow he's, up he's, or will they cut him he's off? He's staying, despite some of the nonsense she's bleating, he's staying fairly passive. Not passive aggressive like her. Thank you, President Xi, exclamation point, when we know that she was responsible for lacking and not giving us transparency about the origins of COVID. Oh, so she's going to blame China for COVID. When Trump was doing that, they called him racist. They had campaigns, Stop Asian Hate. A hundred percent. Are you kidding me? But see, look at this now. She's going to wear a MAGA hat yeah. next. This is not good. This is, she's been over-advised. Four years ago, and four years ago, is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. Oh! 
She's gone to my philosophy. But if she ever gets a chance to change it, and it will be the end of our country. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist That's professor. True. Yes, get in there. Yeah. Rip in. Rip in. Her husband knocked up the babysitter. Done, Let's just get into all of it. Look at these millions and <laughs> millions of people. Look at this that are practice into our nonsense. That, where it's, I I'm believe, sorry. 21 million people. Not I'm going to do this with you when you talk. I'm going to do. I'm going to Kamala you. <laughs> That's all right. I'll give you a MAGA hat. <laughs> and just look at what they're doing to our country. She has gone full MAGA. She just criminals. took and the China thing and you know, you before, appropriated his election. position but the that genius. she had completely uh, condemned. Understand, if Donald Trump were to be re-elected, he will sign a national abortion ban. He will Understand, sign a national in his Project ban. 2025, oh. there will be a national... Oh, he, oh, won't, oh. he won't do that. that. So she she was doing really well and for her people, and now she's gone too far. Yeah, but... Because he's not going to sign an abortion ban. I reckon there's a lot of crossover between the Project 2025 cultists and the abortion enthusiasts who see abortion as the number one issue, if not the only issue.